everyone. Um, it is about two minutes, it looks like, before 10 o'clock. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and hop on here. Um, my name is Christy Lingo. I'm a professional organizer in Columbus, Ohio. And today I want to talk to you about 10 things. Well, actually, I'm just going to talk about the first five. This is going to be part one of a two-part Facebook Live uh, series that I'm going to do here in August. Um, and that is part of the Savvy Sexy Social Video Every Day in August project that I am part of. Um, so today we're going to talk about the first five things on that list. And I am just really quick going to pop over to the feed on my page. That way if there, um, if there are any questions or um, anything that I need to answer, I can also see that on my page here. Give me just one second. All right, we'll see how that goes up. So anyways, it is a beautiful day here in Central Ohio. I am in Columbus, Ohio, Clintonville to be specific. And um, just a little bit about me. I started my business in 2009. And um, my primary goal is to help families stay organized. But I do have clients that range in age from 27 to I think 78, no, 84. 84 is the... Um, the most senior client that I have right now. So I do help people of all different ages get organized. And today what I really want to talk to you about is um, some simple steps, very basic steps in the organizing process that you can do in order to uh, feel a little bit more organized in your home. Now, these will entail um, perhaps decluttering a little bit or rearranging a little bit but it's just some basic, easy things that you can do to start that organizing process if you always feel frazzled and like you can never find anything. Um, so the first thing that I recommend that you do is to give items a home. Um, so if you have a gallon of milk, you put it back in the refrigerator. The refrigerator is the milk gallon's home. It's the same with anything in organizing. You want to make sure that anything that you are trying to store has a specific place that it goes to. Uh, this is really important with back to school um, we have coming up and kids are going to have books and school supplies and backpacks and shoes and coats and everything else that goes with um, back to school. And you want to make sure that you've already designated a very specific place to keep those items. You want to give backpacks a home. It will be very frustrating to keep coming in and tripping over the backpacks when you come into the house if they don't have a place to go. So whether it's deciding to put some hooks up on the wall in the, outside the door that your kids normally use, or if it's um, you need to get a little bin to put them in. You could put a laundry basket by your front door and that's where the shoes and the coats and the backpacks go when they walk in the room. It doesn't necessarily have to be some big fancy locker system or um, a coat rack or something like that. It can be very simple and easy. But the idea is creating a place, a home for the items. Right now we're talking about backpacks and back to school and kids shoes and things like that. Create a home that's easy to put those things away. And that way, when you tell your kids, put it away, it has an away to go to. So item number one on 10 things that you can do to feel more organized is to give items a home. Number two is going to be to put things away. It's pretty simple. You give an item a home, you put it away. Now, people, not to mention any names, my husband, like to just gather things up and put them someplace when they're cleaning up. Um, I once came home and the house looked gorgeous. It was beautiful. I had been gone all day at work. It was his day off. He cleaned it all up. And over the course of the next week, I kept finding or kept looking for things that I couldn't find that I knew had been out before. And I'm like, hey, where is the this or where is the that? Ends up everything was sitting in on our guest bedroom bed. 
Um, so <laughs> that is not putting things away because those items had homes and because they didn't make it back to their homes, see number one on our list of 10 things to do, giving items a home, I couldn't find them when I needed to go get them. So taking when you take an item out, take it out and then put it away, number two on our list of things to do to feel more organized. Put it back in its home. Uh, we are in the process right now of a kitchen remodel and um, for a while we didn't have a place to hang our keys. And I swear to you, those like five months that we didn't have a key hook, I lost my keys probably four out of seven days a week because I didn't have a place to hang them anymore. Um, I used to have a little hook that was right over in this area over here and I would walk in the door and I would hang the keys on the hook and I knew where they were. Every time that I went to leave the house, I knew where it was. And I know that many people, when they're disorganized, that's the things that you lose. You lose your keys and your phone, or you don't know where your purse is. If they have a place to go and you put it back in that place, you're going to uh, be able to find it the next time that you go out. And I hear, I hear footsteps on the stairs. We may be getting a visitor here soon. Um, so number one, give items a home. Number two, put those items away when you are done using them. Number three, do things right away. Don't look at something that needs to be done and say, oh, I'll do that later tonight, or oh, I'll, I'll shred that stuff later, or oh, I'll open that mail later, or oh, I'll put my laundry away later. How many times have you seen, found that like later or around to it doesn't happen? That's when That's things start to pile up. Okay, hold on, buddy. Hey. Can you go back downstairs, please? This is what happens when you have kids and you try to do a live video. Okay, if you're gonna be up here, I need you to be quiet, okay? Okay? Okay. okay. Um, so, back to number three on our list, doing things right away. Piles represent delayed decisions. If you have a pile of unopened mail, a pile of laundry that you haven't put away, a pile of toys that you meant to donate but you haven't bagged up and taken to the Goodwill yet, all of those represent you saying, I'm gonna do that later, but not actually getting around to doing it. So the more items that you can actually just get out there and do right away, the more organized you're going to feel. Go ahead, bring that laundry basket up and actually put the laundry away when you're doing it. It's only gonna take you an extra 30 seconds, maybe five minutes, I mean, maybe 10 if you have a bunch of stuff to hang up. But trust me when I tell you that having five baskets of laundry to put away is going to make you feel much more unorganized than taking an extra 10 minutes to put it away. Yes, buddy, what can I help you with? You can have some bubble gum when I'm done, okay? <laughs> All right, so number one was give items a home. Number two was put things away in their homes. Number three was put things away in their homes right away. Don't wait to do it because then it will get lost. Number four, we're gonna move into the sort of time management um, aspect of organizing, and we're going to say, make a daily schedule. Now, um, if I have like a monthly schedule that I hang up in my kitchen so that I can kind of see where people are going and when the kids need to be one place and where I need to be one place, and my husband usually only goes like one place, so I pretty much know where he's gonna be. But I do like in my phone to have a daily layout of who's going where when. You know, this kid needs to be to preschool at this time, this kid needs to be to kindergarten at this time, we have doctor's appointments, we have soccer practice. I need to be able to look and see who's going where when, what time I'm needing to leave, how much travel time I need in between. That is really going to be helpful for you in keeping your time organized. So whether you, <laughs> hi Donna, um, uh, whether you are um, printing out sheets, you can just go into Excel and make a sheet with all of your hours throughout the day and just print out a week's worth or a month's worth of those daily schedule sheets and write down hour by hour where you need to be. Um, I always encourage people to give yourself a little bit of bumper. So if your kids need to be to school at nine, schedule it in at 8.40 or schedule it in at 8.30. That way you're leaving in time, you're giving yourself a little bit of travel time in there and you're not gonna end up late for the, um, 
for the whatever event that you're going to do. And try to keep your daily to-do list. We're going to talk about to-do lists in our next little um in our next little part two of our 10 things to feel more organized tomorrow. Um, but try to keep your to-do list to four to seven things. Um, experts have said that anything much beyond seven, it's really hard for you to um, get yourself motivated to do it. You actually will talk yourself out of it if there's too many things. So if you have, outside of your activities that you need to do, going to school, going to work, going to soccer practice, so on and so forth, Try to only schedule four to seven things and go ahead and write them down there on that daily schedule that you are creating. And so we are to number five, but let's review one through, uh, one through four so far. Number one was give items a home. Number two was put things away in that home. Number three is put things away. Do it right away. Don't let your mail pile up. Don't let your laundry pile up. Do it right away. Number four is make a daily schedule and try to incorporate no more than seven things that you need to do on that day. And the last thing that we're going to talk about today, number five in part one of 10 things to be more organized tomorrow is to schedule time for organizing. If you just expect that you're just gonna have time to get organized, chances are you're gonna put it off because something more important or more often than not, something more fun is going to come along that you're going to want to do instead of organizing. Um, not everyone finds organizing as fun as I do. Um, yesterday, I sorted papers for three hours and I was like giddy because I'm a complete nerd. But not everybody likes to do that. And so when I say schedule time in to do organizing, it doesn't have to be huge chunks of time. It doesn't have to be three hours or four hours or your entire Saturday. It can be 10 minutes a day. If you write on that daily schedule that you're going to do or as part of your to-do list for that day, go through pantry and throw out expired items. Right there, you're organizing. If, you're, if you say, do laundry and put it away, that's organizing because you're staying on top of the things that you need to do. Schedule time in your day for organizing, whether it's every day or three days a week or one day a week, although I find that if you try to chunk it out in one day a week, you're just gonna feel super overwhelmed and if you don't get everything done that you need to get done, you'll feel a little defeated and it might prevent you from getting everything done that you need to get done um, you know, or going back to it because you're like, well, I spent an hour, I didn't get everything done, it's not even worth it, I'm just not even gonna bother on my Saturday, I'm gonna go to the pool instead, which is not bad, going to the pool is fine, but if you're wanting to be more organized, you have to put the time and effort into doing it and maintaining. So, just a quick review of part one of our 10 things to help you feel more organized tomorrow. Number one was to Give items a home, whether it's a hook for backpacks or it's a cubby to put things away in, whether it is a cupboard to put school supplies in, if your kids are doing their homework at the table, uh, you need to give items a home, especially the things that you have trouble finding or that you regularly need to get to, but you're finding like, I can't find my keys, I can't find my cell phone. Give those items a specific place. Number two, Put things away in that specific place. Now that items have a home, put them back there so that you can find your keys or find your phone or find your backpack or find the homework, so on and so forth. Shoes, gosh, my four-year-old, I am trying to drill into his head right now. If you put your shoes on the tray, you'll know where they are. He'll get it one of these days, I promise. Number three, do things right away. Put away the laundry, open up the mail, or at least sort out the mail and get rid of the junk stuff right away. The more that you do, the less you have to touch an item, the more organized you're going to feel. If you just keep moving that laundry basket from place to place to place, you're, it's never going to get put away. Put it away, put the laundry basket back in the basement, and don't think about it till the next time you have to use it. Number four, make a daily schedule. Either print out sheets, go buy yourself a day timer. There are all kinds of options out there, but something that has hour by hour lists and even sometimes broken down into smaller spots where you can write down where you need to be and what you need to do for that day. And number five, 
Schedule time on that schedule to do organizing activities. Whether it is every day you do just a little bit, which is what I recommend to people, small incremental changes, or three times a week, one time a week, schedule those tasks that have to do with organizing. Cleaning out your fridge, going through your closet, taking donations to the donation site, um, picking up the toys, going through the toys and figuring out what needs to be donated. Um, all of those little things, add them to your schedule. Schedule that time in and you will start to see big progress in the organizing work that you wanna do in your home. As always, I am here for questions that you have about organizing your home or your office um, or your time. Please feel free to private message me and I'm going to be back next Saturday at 10 a.m. for the second five items um, in our 10 things that you can do to feel more organized tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you guys out there and please, please, please stop back next Saturday at 10 a.m. for part two. Take care and Lingo out. Oh, maybe I'm out. <laughs>